Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about some of the test scenarios for shopping cart. If you are working for e-commerce application, so you should write test cases for shopping cart as well. So in this video, I will be providing detailed test scenarios for shopping cart. Let us understand what is all about a shopping cart. It is a software process or a software application normally which we use as part of uh, e-commerce application or any online store or online application basically it is a program shopping cart is an program it can be used in web application or in mobile application and main purpose of shopping cart is to help to purchase the product or an item from the e-commerce store or any online store so in any e-commerce application the product pages would will look like like this in any e-commerce application the products will list in this way where every products is displayed with the product name then cost discounts everything then there is also a button which is add cart so when we click on this add cart when when we click on this add cart it takes to a shopping cart so now what we should do is we should write a test scenarios by adding all these product let's say if i click on art card for all these items then i should see four items in the shopping cart that is the outcome of this test scenarios then once we are able to see all the items in the shopping cart now in this snapshot i have given a different products altogether so we have a, a battery 9 volt battery is there and we have a ram chip as well so now we will see what are the various test scenarios we can add up for this shopping cart functionality we should see if we can see a right there is a quantity you have a quantity drop down is there here you can go on increasing the quantity i can buy two products three products four product and see appropriately the costs are uh, increasing or uh, prices are decreasing based on that number based on the number of items you are selecting based on that uh, the prices also should vary we should keep adding more products similar products into a shopping cart we should see we should not get added because there is already a product is there just we should increase the product quantity and you should be able to remove the items from the shopping cart as well so that is you can do is by clicking on delete function then remove the products from the shopping cart if you are clicking on this uh, product description or an image right you should take to the product description page you should take to the product description page and there should be a mechanism of adding a discounts coupons our watchers while adding these products as well the, those verifications also you should do as part of your requirements uh, for a shopping cart then uh, after adding all these products into a shopping cart and you keep uh, refreshing multiple times and to see the still the products are still lying here or not or something is getting disappeared so those validations also you should make so next type of scenario is so you should keep uh, increasing the number of quantity let's say for example for example if you have just five products in a given um, vendor and if you're trying to add six six products then you should not allow you should say out of stock so all boundary conditions you should validate minimum quantity you can buy there are certain condition like uh, I can only buy these many products by each customer. You cannot buy more than that. That is the time you should say out of stock or whatever the requirements it's talking about for you. You should appropriately test it accordingly. And by clicking on uh, checkout button, there is a checkout button in the shopping cart. That is the final where I can go and uh, pay the money for these items from the shopping cart i can click on order or check out then it takes to the checkout page by when we are doing all these 
products addition deletion everything right so these prices are inclusive of taxes so everything should get reflected here properly and also there is a option here which is gift option so if whether i can select a check box gift option or not all those things also should verify properly here increasing or decreasing any of these products or this product appropriately all the calculations totals and sub totals are calculated appropriately without any mistakes those things also you should validate and also you should uh, as i said earlier you should look for any minimum quantity reserved for a given product maybe certain products are very high demand only one or two can buy by each customer so that if so that if that kind of uh, rules has been set then you should verify whether that rule has been working properly or not in the shopping cart you should also test for the product images whether we are able to see all the product images properly or not can we see it visibly properly when i click on those images whether it is taking to the product page or not and also there is a uh, check buttons are there let's say i have i have let's say i have 10 products in the shopping cart i just wanted to select only five for immediate buy maybe i will buy remaining stuff later then only i can then i can select only five items and i will check out from this page for that facility there is a check box options also we have so you should test those options as well just to see whether it is been whether it is getting selected properly or not these are the some of the test scenarios which i can think of for shopping cart functionality this video was very useful for you guys if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed to testing shala then please click on subscribe so that all our future videos will be in your inbox thanks for watching this video bye for now take care